The new knockout format of the Europa League means that this stage looks more competitive than it has perhaps ever been. Dean, I make it 12 teams, I reckon, can win this competition from the 24 Nice left, one. Which is pretty amazing, right? That's a pretty nuts thing to be saying. Yeah. But we're going to try and pick a top three and you're going to start us off. Yeah, it's very bold of you, mate, saying that half the teams in the competition could actually win this. Well done. I'm going to narrow things down a little bit and start us off at number three and say, I think Borussia Dortmund could win this competition. And I guess that's not too bold either because a lot of bookmakers actually have them down as the favourites. Yeah, I was going to say. I don't think they are probably the favourites to win this competition, but I can see why people would want to back this team. Um, they've got a nice draw. I think um, playing against Rangers will suit them perfectly. I think that they are a better team. They sent them a very cheeky tweet at the weekend after Dortmund got a, a very important win in Bundesliga. Mm. They sent out a see you soon tweet to, to Rangers and tagged them in. Um, very confident. Uh, yeah, very confident. I think obviously the, the nice angle to all this is it's Erling Haaland's last season at Borussia Dortmund, which I'm sure everybody's aware of by now. What a nice way to say goodbye. He's out injured a little bit at the moment, like another muscle strain, um, but he will be back, I'm sure, for the end of the season when it matters. And what a way to say farewell it would be. Yeah, absolutely. Probably the best individual player left in the tournament, mm. although it does have some real star names this year. I'm going to take us into two. Um, and talking of ways to say goodbye, I'm going to go for Napoli. Because Lorenzo is senior, boyhood Napoli fan, you know, Neapolitan born and bred, is leaving the club at the end of this season. Now, Napoli are in the title race in Serie A. I'm quite comfortable saying that at this point. But also, this would be an amazing way to bow out with a trophy, with a trophy that Maradona won for the club mm. in the early 90s, mm -hmm. uh, to say goodbye, club captain. And that, this Napoli side are very, very good. They've got a lot of depth, especially through the middle. Um, and I just think that they have enough to carry two competitions, especially if you know we do see Inter starts pull away in Serie A. You can see Napoli switching focus really heavily onto the Europa League. And I make them you know, pretty, pretty up there in terms of the, the best squads left in this competition. Yeah, yeah it's interesting because Dortmund obviously coming back into the title race in Bundesliga, I don't think they've quite got enough to get in there. I'd say Napoli have got a more realistic chance of remaining part of it. But like you say, if that did start to fall away, I can definitely see them just prioritising this. And yeah, they, I agree with you, they're probably ahead of Dortmund. So there. these are both very good cases. Dortmund, a little bit fragile, but very yeah. strong side. Napoli, maybe a bit busy with the title race, but they've got a lot of narrative behind them. I'm going to say the number one candidate here is Sevilla. Shock horror, the Europa League specialist. Who else? Who else <laughs> would we choose? But, I mean, they're also right in, in, title the, race. Right in the thick of a title <laughs> race here. They are just four points off Real Madrid as we stand. And that is a really good gauge of, as to how strong they are. They are legitimately in this title race. And they pretty much tick every box here. They've got a really stern defence, really stable system, really stable continuity under their manager they're physical in midfield they've got great depth and great options in attack they've got like 10 different attackers that they can choose from they can mix and match and the final of this competition will be held at Sevilla's stadium it's now cheating, that, isn't it? It's, it's a home match in the final. <laughs> it's, like the Ram, it's like the Rams in the Super Bowl. Right? Very much so, yeah. But it gives you that extra special motivation to reach it so that you can go on home soil and then that little bit of motivation Absolutely, again yeah. to lift that trophy on home soil. I think that counts for a little something. So Sevilla, if they didn't already need more reasons to prop them up in this competition, they've got them. Well, I couldn't disagree with that, <laughs> kiddo. Although there is that other narrative there that 40-year-old Joaquin, captain of Sevilla's great rivals, Real Betis, could lift his final trophy, the last game of his career in the home of his great rivals. What a story, what a story well, that a would be. One, yeah. The Europa League looks incredibly lively as we head towards these knockout stages. Make sure you don't miss a minute of it.